everyone, welcome back to Lavender. Today we're talking about the five must read books in 2017. These are all books that have heavily impacted my life. They're my absolute favorite books and they're books that I think have enough variety, enough to enhance your life in different areas. So let's jump in. The first must read book of the year is called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And if you haven't heard about this book, I don't know where you've been because this book is so amazing. It's super popular and it only came out recently in like 2015. So Elizabeth Gilbert is the author of Eat, Pray, Love and The Signature of All Things. She's a novelist, but this is her first book where it's kind of more non-fiction based and it's a book about creativity and it's not just for artists and creatives it's for everyone because she makes the argument that everybody is a creative person everybody can find joy through creating something and exploring your creativity and it's just a book that changed my mindset on my lifestyle and it's really inspiring it helps you look at creativity in a different way it helps you look at fear in a different way and I think that is like probably the number one book I'd recommend to anybody who wants to start reading something interesting. So the second book is another must read and it's a classic. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And this is the book about being present. This is like the book about just like, you know, being fully in the now, the current moment. Eckhart Tolle is like a monk, literally. Like I've seen him speak live. He's so zen. He's always living just in the present moment. And he's written so many books that are like literally mind blowing and it will shift your mind. It will shift your life. And this is probably his most popular book. So I would recommend The Power of Now first, but another book, Side note, not on the, this list, but that is really good is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. That's another book that is like life changing that you should read. But definitely start with The Power of Now because it will help you appreciate your life and where you are right now so much more. It will just like open up your eyes, literally. Not literally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> The third must read book is one that I recommend often because it's probably like one of my top three favorite books ever. It changed my life in a time where I needed it the most. It's called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz and it's the shortest book out of all of these books on the list. So if you wanna read like a quick read, something that's easy but powerful, read The Four Agreements. So yeah. Basically, this book makes all of life's problems very, very simple. There are just four agreements to live by. And once you live by those four agreements, you'll realize that all the problems, all the issues, all the stress can really fade away. And they're really powerful. So yeah, read that book. The fourth must-read book of this year, if you haven't read it already, is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I know a lot of you on this channel already have read that book. You've already tidied through the KonMari system like I have. But for any of you guys who have still not read that book, read the book because I think it will really give you a new sense of freshness in your life. If you can really take in those lessons and apply it to your life, start to declutter your physical things, the things that you don't need anymore. Start to see your life through the angle of what sparks joy, what makes me happy, and only keep the things that make you happy and let go of everything that does not. And honestly, that is the magic of tidying up. It really refreshes your life. It helps you become more conscious of everything you keep in your life, not just physical things, but relationships and everything else. I've already talked so much about this book, but it's worth recommending again for a must read for 2017 because minimalism is on the come up. It's a movement and it's only gonna grow. If you haven't seen the minimalism film documentary on Netflix, like the, I think it's trending right now. So yeah, it's coming. So if you wanna get inspired to declutter and reorganize your life, definitely, definitely read that book. The final must read book on this list is one on productivity and it's called Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. And this is one of the most popular books on productivity, probably the most popular book on productivity out there, I would say. And after I read this book, I did a major revamp and refresh of the way that I organize my to-do list. And so if you're somebody who loves like making lists and organizing, planning your goals, that sort of thing. This book is an amazing resource, an amazing tool because it just 
helps you get things done in a more efficient way. I feel like he's really thought out his process and a lot of people follow this process. So it's really benefited my life. Similar to the way like the life-changing magic of tidying up, like I decluttered my life through this book, Getting Things Done, I really decluttered my to-do list and I became more efficient at the way I organize things. So if you're into that, Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity, read that book. All right, those are my five must-read books for 2017. I can wholeheartedly say that I 1,000% recommend each and every one of those books, so you won't go wrong with reading any of them, trust me. So please, please, please let me know if you have any book recommendations on your own because I'm looking for more books to read this year and I feel like my list, my reading list is getting kind of boring and I kind of need new additions to check out. So please recommend your stuff down below and yeah, let's have an amazing, productive, beautiful, magical new year. <laughs> Bye.